Well, I'd like to welcome Mikko Usutalo, the uh, Global Director for Mission Critical and Private Wireless Networks at Cellnex Telecom. Mikko, welcome. Hey, Ricky, good to see you. Thanks for having me over. Great. So, you know, we work in a partnership model uh, with, with Cellnex and we have a, a very interesting project in Spain with BASF. Could you talk a little bit about that partnership and kind of what were the driving factors for BASF to, to go to a private wireless network? Yeah, uh, thank you. It, it is a really important project for, for us both, I would say. It, it is many firsts in the sense, so it's the first private network deal in Spain. It's the first private network deal that we did together for chemical industry. And um, it, it's basically, uh, um, you know, it, it's basically a, a, a deal where um, the customer were looking for different options for, for some time and were able to provide a solution that actually they really like. And so uh, this is a chemical plant. It's a it's a chemical factory about an hour from Barcelona, southbound. It's the largest area of such nature in the southern uh, Europe. And uh, um, you know what we've done together is to to deploy this 5G private network, uh, basically serving some of their use case needs that we can talk about today. So so it is of utmost importance to, to both of us to to have delivered this uh, network uh, properly. So very happy about the outcome, and, and they are as well. Right. So you mentioned it's it's a 5G deal. So obviously 5G is new and and you know something we've talked a lot about. What are the benefits of 5G when we think about you know industrial IoT and, and industrial applications? So what are some of the benefits that 5G is bringing BASF in this project? Yeah. So 5G is a technology that the industry is, is taking on uh, on very rapidly. See a lot of demand there right now uh, for BASF specifically. It's few things. So the private networks that we deal and we deploy with, with Nokia are, are mostly on-premise networks. And, and the reason for that is, is uh, uh, often the need for very low latency, because many of the use cases are circling around automation, you know, automated guided vehicles, remote control things that require very, very low latency response time to the, to the connectivity. And, uh, and 5G obviously technology is, is one that provides the best in class, uh, best available latency at the moment for these kind of applications. The the other uh, key driver for them to select 5G with Nokia and, and Celnex is basically that it's very future proof. We're looking at 10 plus years of, uh, of uh, you know, um, uh, investment, uh, you know, investment return for, for that technology. And and uh, that's why I think they, they decided to go with 5G. And, and quite frankly, for these kind of environments, there aren't really any other alternatives. I mean, that, that is the right choice and is the only choice that they should 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 have selected. Good. Yeah, and no, I think we're certainly seeing you know, some of these uh, use cases driven by, as you say, latency and, and critical mission critical applications will we'll certainly drive 5G uptake. Now, you know, the partner model that we have uh, at Nokia working with partners like yourself with Cellnex Telecom uh, is an extremely important part of our, our growth strategy. Could you talk a little bit about, you know, what are some of the unique value adds that the companies like Cellnex Telecoms bring to the to the, to the partnership? And generally, you know, how does working with, with Nokia and Cellnex together uh, enable better solutions for, for different industry segments? Yeah, well, Cellnex is probably most known uh, of being uh, the largest uh, uh, tower company in Europe at the moment. Uh, we, uh, we, we see ourselves as a neutral infrastructure provider. And, and obviously, uh, as part of the strategy, work with, uh, with, the, with the best partners that can help us to bring the solution to customers. So, so I, I guess the value that uh, we we did bring on the table with uh, with the customers uh, is the, the investment capability we have to invest in the solutions, provide those as a service. That's one. Uh, the second one is the ability to integrate a neutral solution that that meets the customer needs and use cases. And, and if you like, we can talk about those, some of the use cases because I think they are quite interesting a bit more. Um, and and uh, Nokia, you know, we, we work with Nokia, um, you know, Celnex for some time already, and also for the private networks and enterprise segment through this uh, Edgecom acquisition over the last four or five years. And, and Nokia is, is is a front runner. I mean, you guys are way beyond the other providers in the market. I mean, at the moment, uh, there are certain certain providers that are not the, not the option in Europe or Western Europe, uh, uh, and so there aren't too many. But Nokia is by far the most advanced, given that you've invested in the enterprise segment for years now, for some years now, and, uh, and you know we, we've uh, we've we've tested many of the different solutions, and it's very easy for us. Uh, Nokia Nokia has been the preferred one for us. No, I appreciate that because you, you mentioned use cases, and, and I would say you know the question I get asked most when I'm I'm talking to customers around the world is. 
you know, what are the use cases? What, what's going to drive you know, private wireless uh, deployment? So perhaps you could share some of those use cases from a Cellnext perspective. Yeah, let me take the BASF example because I, I think it's it's a topic today. So um, we we had about five use cases they were interested in. So so at the end of the day, we ended up uh, uh, deploying uh, four out of them. So one is a relatively simple license plate reading use case where you know when when the, the different uh, vehicles access the site, you need to have a real time information and, and and guidance where those vehicles should go. And that's that's something that the private network, the variable latency enables. So, so that was one. Uh, the second one was around employee um, employee safety. We provided a um, a solution where there was a kind of a tracking device on the helmet with a safety button in case of an accident. That again, you know, with the very low latency response time of this network, provide provides a, a added safety uh, element. Uh, the third use case uh, we did was around auto, um, uh, augmented reality and uh, virtual reality in the sense that you have a device, typically a tablet which you can then point to a, 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 a pipe or, or, or topic that you want to you know, you want to fix and then you get uh, inside information on real time how to fix that. Uh, and then the first one, which is relatively I mean, sounds relatively simple, but it's becoming actually uh, very much in, in need in these kind of industrial environments is the mission critical group communication solution where, you know, in the past uh, the, the, the operators used to play with these walkie talkies, VHF phones. Now you get this rich experience with location, video, real time. Uh, so, so those were the four use cases and they all serve different needs of safety, you know, efficiency or, or in, innovative services. Well, no, I appreciate you sharing that, Mikko. Like I said, I, I think the uh, the number of use cases is is endless. I, I think as we deploy this technology uh, in in various industry segments, the the use cases will will continue to grow rapidly, and I think that that's a great opportunity for for all of us. So, again, Mikko, I appreciate you uh, making time to to share your insights. Um, we appreciate the relationship and partnership with Cellnex, and uh, let's get out there and sell more private wireless networks. I agree, and, and we've done so far like 35 or plus, so looking forward to many more to come. Thank you, Rick, for having me over. Great, thanks, Mikko.